Hi guys, this tutorial is pre-recorded, so I'm sorry for that. Um, just a quick apology as well. I may not have sounded too upbeat in this tutorial because I was a bit ill at the time. So, either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave you now, so peace. Hey guys, what's up? This is Chris, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to use uh, Metaball or Metaball in Cinema 4D. So, I'm going to be teaching you how to get an end result like this. So, just an array of spheres in like a liquidy type state. Um, all different sizes, shapes, not shapes, sorry, different sizes and um, all in various locations. So let's get into it. I'm just going to delete what I had there and let's start. So what you're going to do is you're just going to get yourself a sphere and you're just going to bump the segments up a tiny bit. Now I don't normally do this but tutorial purposes, purposes and all that uh, it helps. So just want my sphere, keep it on 100 radius. Uh, you can get your sphere. Uh, get a cloner object from the MoGraph tab and drag it in. Now uh, here you get a tower kind of of, kind of, of spheres. Uh, to change that you should go to object mode and grid array and then you just get a grid. It's exactly what it says on the tin. Um, you're just going to spread these out a tiny bit. So I'm just going to spread them out 415, uh, probably about 415 for this one as well. I'm going to make a 415, 415, and 415. So there we go. If I uncheck this camera, I've got a nice spread of spheres, which could be spread a bit more, so I'm going to go 515 instead. There you go, so now they're nice and spread out. So I'm just going to check my camera again. There we go. Um, and now, with the cloner selected, you're going to go to the tab next to your um, Extrude Nerves tab. And you're just going to select meter ball. And then you're going to drag your cloner into your meter ball. And oh, yeah, you get like a blob, kind of like a rounded off um, cube. Now, to change this, you're just going to, uh, for my values, I'm going to change my editor subdivision to 12 to get, generate a bit more um, segments and my whole value to 270. So now, if I uncheck this, it's the same array. And there are just some holes in the middle. Now, to change this, you, um, you're going to have your cloner selected. Go to MoGraph, Effectors, and Random. And there we go. So, as you all know, the random effector just randomizes movement. And from now on, that's what we're going to be using. So, parameters, you're just going to play with these. Uh, I'm just going to go for something small and simple. So, there we go. Something like that and I'm just going to spread these out a bit there we go spread them out to about there and then with, uh, to get the various sizes and check scale and check uniform scale and then find whatever you think is pleasing so I'm going to go for a minus point, 0.4 and there we go so that has been, well this is what you will hopefully be getting. And I'm just going to generate a quick texture to show you guys something. Uh, I'm just going to add some reflection to Fresnel. Uh, lower this a tiny bit, maybe about 80. There we go. And lower that to about 80 as well. I should keep that out there. And add a tiny bit of blurriness, about 5% blurriness. There we go. So I'm just going to drag this onto my meter ball and render that out quickly. Um, as well with this, if you would like to see further tutorials, just these quick tip type tutorials, then feel free to leave a comment below. Or if you're watching this on the Connect Art channel, if this does get uploaded by Mr. Izzy, then feel free to either comment on the on the video itself or you can personal message me via YouTube and I'll be sure to answer your questions. So whilst this renders I'm just gonna uh, fill in the spaces and I'm gonna tell you about some future projects. So um, I'm gonna be bringing out an animation called 310. Uh, main, main like reason for the title is it's 310 frames long which is kind of original kind of not it's just really lazy of me to be naming it after the amount of frames um, as well I'm gonna be using a lot more like 
varied techniques now in my work. Uh, I've kind of got into the feel of like progressing a lot more than I normally do. And as it's the summer, I do have a lot of things I could be doing, but I'm not going to be because I am lazy as shit. Uh, yeah, so this can probably take a while to render due to my high settings, which is not good. But yeah, you get the idea. As you can see there, the reflections and stuff like that and how nicely smooth they are due to the amount of uh, editor subdivisions you have used. So yeah, this has been a tutorial on how to use the Meta Ball or Meta Ball within Cinema 4D. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, be sure to leave a like rating and a comment below. Um, anyway guys, I'm out. Peace.